Hey guys, I'm Bill Ball Headman and you're watching Southern Ingenuity. Got a repair to make today on this tractor tire. Gotta change the ballast in, but I'm not gonna drain the ballast water. I gotta get it done today because I gotta cut the grass because it's starting to look like a jungle. So stay tuned. <laughs> So I walk into my shop, find a puddle of water in the floor around my tractor tire. Well, first thought, then run over a nail, or somehow punctured the tire, but I get to looking and find that the water is actually coming from the valve stem. Now, this is a rubber valve stem. It's almost 20 years old, so it needs to be replaced anyway. But I managed to get the leak stopped, give me time to figure out what I was going to do. Now, I actually had the same situation happen last year with the tire on the opposite side. Now with that one, I took the tire off, drained the water, took it into town and had it repaired. But then I got home, I had to fill it back up with water and that was aggravating to say the least. So with this one, I was wanting to try to replace the stem myself, but without draining the water. installing a brass valve stem. Now brass doesn't rust or corrode and this one has a special feature which allows you to add water to a larger hole like this one. If you use a special fitting like this one you just connect it to your stem and then connect a water hose to the fitting fill it with water and when you're done you disconnect it reinstall your stem and then you have the regular valve core and that allows you to pressurize your tire. Now in case anybody's wondering why we would put water in the tires, well it's simple. Weight. Water gives you weight. That weight gives you extra traction if you're trying to pull something. It gives you counterbalance if you have a front end loader and you're trying to lift a heavy load. But it also gives you stability by lowering the tractor center of gravity. That way, if you're operating on a hill or a grade, the tractor is less likely to tip over.
First of all, I want to apologize for the video quality in this particular segment, but as you can see, this tire is very heavy. Now, this particular tire, when filled 75% full of water, holds almost 53 gallons. That's almost 440 pounds of water. Add in the weight of the tire and the rim, it's easily in the neighborhood of 600 pounds. not have noticed in the video but I was using a homemade bead breaker. I made this out of scrap material that I had laying around the shop here. I do this kind of stuff all the time. I love it whether I'm making a special tool for a specific task or a project or just repairing something that needs to be repaired around the house and most of the time I'm using things that are readily available to me that I already have on hand. Now if you'd like to see how I made this check out the link below in the description called homemade bead breaker. This is Southern Ingenuity. I'm Theobald Hedman, and thanks for watching.